In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create um, quiz questions in Canvas using new quizzes and item banks. You can also do this sort of thing with classic quizzes, but the process is a little different and I'll do that in a different video. Some things I'm going to show you how to do are to create an item bank, share an item bank, and how you add questions where you can filter your question types or where you can say, oh, I only want two questions out of these 10 questions to come into this quiz, okay? So I am in a Canvas course. I'm gonna go to quizzes and what I will do is I will go to add a quiz and I'm going to choose new quizzes as my quiz type that I wanna do. So I'm gonna say new and I'm gonna hit submit. And I'm gonna call this um, linear equation quiz. I'm gonna give it some points, put it in a group, and put all of my um, stipulations in here. So then I'm gonna hit save. And then I'm gonna come in the quiz uh, editor is going to load in new quizzes and now what I need to do is actually create my item banks. So I actually already have some item banks um, so maybe I'll actually show you how to add questions first just so you see what it does. If I hit the plus button right now it's going to let me add one question. Okay. I can also hit that plus button and click on the little piggy bank and that will go to my item banks. So that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is just to click item banks right from the go. So I can have a couple of item banks in here. So I've got my y-intercept item bank. So if I open that one up, it's gonna show me all the questions that I have in that particular bank. So all of these questions have to do with finding the y-intercept of a linear equation. If I want to select certain questions, I can. I can add just this item to the test if I want. I can click filters and I can say, well, I only wanna filter um, my horizontal ones, or I only wanna filter different kinds. I only want to look at multiple choice questions, okay? So you can you can kind of filter down what you're looking at. Or you can just say, I want them all. By, and by clicking all, it takes all the questions from the bank and it puts it in your quiz. Now, maybe you don't want all. So I've got five questions in that bank. Maybe I only want to pull two or three. So if that's the case, then you're just going to click right here where it says all questions. And then you're going to say, I want to use randomly select questions and I want two of them. And then you can say how many points per question you want that to be. And you just say done. So now it's only gonna pull two questions from the bank y-intercepts. But how do you even make an item bank? So I'm gonna click on the three dots next to the return button in this quiz. And I'm gonna click on manage item banks. And once I get here, you can see that I can add another bank or I can open a bank that I already have existing. Um, so I'm just gonna add a new bank and I'm gonna give it a name and I'm gonna hit create bank. And then I go to slope and open it up and there's no questions. And I just click add a new question and I can pick whatever kind of question I want. So I can do another multiple choice question and I just basically add my question stem. And make sure to choose my correct answer. And then I can say shuffle choices so they'll come in shuffled. And if you did want to vary points by answer, you click that little box and next to each answer choice, you have the ability to give each answer basically a weight or add a certain amount of points. You can also click on this little comment button here. And if they enter the wrong um, answer, you can put answer feedback for that particular choice. So you can give students lots of feedback in their assessment if you so desire. Um, for brevity, I'm going to skip that step. Now, this part, tags and metadata, I think is really important. So when you're adding a question, you wanna give it tags so it makes it easier to filter whenever you are adding questions to a quiz. So this particular question is dealing with slope intercept form. Um, and so basically I'll probably put linear and slope and slope intercept form and then say done. Now that I've um, added this question, I can click duplicate to duplicate it and just change what question types I've got. Um, I can add a new question. just can 
continue to add questions now to this particular item bank, okay? So you can return back to your quiz, and then this is where now you could add, you could create a question, or you can click your banks and go to your item banks and choose something from here. If you want to manage um, your item banks, you can come in here and you'll notice next to each one of these, there's a little share icon. So you can create a bank and you can share that bank with other people. You can just type their email in and it is going to send that teacher that item bank as well and they can put it in there. And item banks are associated with you, the user, um, not necessarily with a particular course or assessment. So I would definitely be very intentional on how you name these banks just to save your sanity later. Um, I've been kind of stingy with these names, but you might want to um, you know, connect it to a unit or connect it to a course even or just have some kind of key that you use so you know what's what. Um, it might not even be a terrible idea if you teach an EOC tested content area to actually use your standards um, in there. I don't know how you want to do that, but basically that's how the banks work.